Hello everybody, this is Hina and welcome to another tutorial of Kalinja Marketing. Today we are going to design a simple logo design by using golden ratio. So before going into the details of the golden ratios, I've just given you a brief history about uh, why the average of the golden ratio is equivalent to 1.618 and how this value is come from. Basically, this has been tried from the Greek people that is known as the Fibonacci and uh, the person has tried this series and uh, this series is actually like this 0 plus uh, 1 is equal to 1 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 2 5 5 plus 3 8 8 plus 5 13 13 plus 8 21 in the same way 21 plus 13 is equal to 34 34 21 is equal to 55 and then 89 so this is the series this is the way the series is going up and up and up so why the average is uh, 1.618 and how it's been calculated this is the you know uh, things that i need i want to find out so here i am using this calculator here and i'm showing you that for example if you are taking this number 89 divided by 55 then you can see that the average is equivalent to 1.618 in the same way if you multiply 55 divided by 34 so you can see that the average is approximately or almost equal to 1.618 so if you will go higher in this value then the average is much equivalent to 1.618 so this is the way the value has been derived and on the basis of these uh, calculations uh, uh, actually the golden circles or the golden spirals have been formed so what i'm going to do now i will on the basis of this information what i'm going to do i'm just taking this uh, uh, square tool from here or the rectangle tool from here and here I'm shifting the fill color to black and stroke to black and simply press shift and define a simple square like this. So what I'm going to do now, I'm taking this, this is not a golden square because not following the ratio. So what I'm going to do, I'm just, uh, so, you know, uh, selected, copied it and paste in same place. And now I'm going at the transform tool here uh, and make sure when you are doing this, your constraint width and height proportion is selected. And here I am dividing the height to 1.618. So you can see that the next uh, uh, square that we got actually following the standard of golden ratios. So these are the two uh, squares that we have created. So now on the basis of these squares, we will create another square, set up another square. So make sure when you are doing this, your smart guide and snap to point is checked. If you're not sure where it is, then here is the guide here you can find it. So make sure all these points are saved and now we are going to create another circles so taking this one this line is green line is guiding you how and where the circle will be formed and now we have created all these and you can select each and everything together and you can easily rotate it to the 90 degrees so it will be quite easy for us to create spirals on it so what we are going to do we are taking this one and ellipse tool and then we are ready to create these spirals press shift and drag your spirals like this simply taking this and now you can create circles and these circles is, are actually the golden circles here i didn't create the square but i'm ready to create it so this is the simple way that you can use uh, so we are currently we because we are going to design a logo on the basis of these spirals so what we are i'm going to do i will delete these squares but you can also use these squares as well for example you are designing a website and you want it to follow the golden ratios then you can easily create it and you can also uh, create the flyer design for posters or whatever you do for the branding purpose you can easily use these uh, squares as well or the or the constraints uh, that will be equivalent to 1.618 
so now we are going to align it accordingly and this completely fits like this and there is there is also one more thing that i want to share here uh, i have seen that many people are designing this um, uh, ratio golden ratio logo and they are just increasing the size or decreasing the size like this this is not allowed when you are working with the golden ratio logo because in golden ratio everything is uh, connected and web, uh, to the other circles so this basically is following a complete set a complete you know formation of ratios that are quite compatible with each other so that's why we can't do this if you are doing this then you will get the design but it will not be a you know uh, it's, it's not following the standards of the golden ratio logo design so what i'm going to do i'm just selecting the overall this uh, you know size like this and applying this to overall then you know, overall is allowed to increase or decrease the size but not open a specific one so what i'm going to do i'm so just selecting this one and take a copy of this design and what i'm going to do i'm just creating a logo here it's a very simple logo that i just uh, you know meant it in my mind and now i'm going to uh, you know shape it here i have created this bigger one and now i am going to take the smaller one here and i will align it in the middle and uh, make sure your circles are connected together otherwise the shape will not be formed so aligned it and now what we are, we are going to take this one again like this and make sure that everything is properly done now we are going to take this one again here and uh, here i'm taking this and take simply take it here and now i am going to take a simple line here like this and now i am selecting each and everything together and i'm forming a shape just by using this shape builder tool so i'm click on it and i'm forming a shape my first shape is this second i want to connect this one and here i want to use this one here this one like this and here i want to take this one and here simple shape structure sorry if anything goes wrong then you have the option to press the uh, control z to resume it and now simply create these shapes now what we are going to do we are simply selecting each and everything together and i want to give it a stroke of uh, point five, five points and now i want to change the color to red so it will be quite visible for you when we are working on the shape so our first design was this so what i'm going to do i'm just giving it a shape to make it more you know interactive so what i'm going to do i'm taking this uh, gradient tool from here and here i want to use the seasons and here i want to give it a color like this and here you can take it I want to give it a simple color here I want to if you want you can select this one I can remove it from here and now you can take a simple color like this here I want to remove this one and here I want to give it a color here like this and here you can define some other color like uh, or might be a darker one so this is the simple way that you can use to create these sort of uh, you know pictures or images and you can just define it so this is a very simple and easy way so i'm going to remove this stroke now as our you know shapes are completely covered and now what i'm going to do i'm taking this uh, middle one and uh, I'm taking a copy of it here and taking this one like uh, for example I want to use this default 
you can press Ctrl F9 as well to intact your gradient tool and I want to make it a radial like this and here I want to remove the bigger one from here and you can make it here like this so this is the very simple and very easy way to design a logo or simple a shape that uh, following the you know, rules of golden ratios so if you want with this what I'm going to do drop them from here so this is the simple design that you can easily create uh, just by following the rules of golden ratio logo design so um, thank you so much for watching and you can also watch my other videos uh, based on the you know other golden uh, ratio logo designs so i will come back to you another tutorial subscribe to my channel have a very good day bye bye